everyone shalom happy sabbath um this is my first um ig story um the holy spirit put in my heart today and i would like to share to you guys about the parable of the ten virgins um we probably don't realize that the ten virgins were actually directed to the christians though there are five wise virgins which are the ones that are always staying burning for the lord by um discerning by spending time through the sermon with the lord um every morning they search the lord and they always stay in prayer and they're always staying burning for the lord and um they 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 totally devoted and obey every teaching for the Lord and that's how they got the oil and received so that's how they through discernment that's how they receive oil and they can stay on fire because you can imagine when you receive oil and when the fire of God firing on you and that's how you burn for the Lord that's how the fire stay on fire but those foolish ones they were so tired in waiting because they have been waiting all of their life. They have been hearing all the preaching about this whole thing, about the second coming of Jesus and all the whole rapture things. So they got tired, and especially when they got, usually when people, um, when they have trouble in their life, they start, you know, cursing God because they were expecting blessings in their life. But when things happen bad things happen in their life then they they just you know um they bl they start blaming people they start blaming the whole situation that's how bitterness and brokenness stuck in their heart and that's how they cannot um be so close and they cannot go deeper with the lord because of the things and that's how it's blocking them to go deeper with the lord um you know you can imagine if you have so many junk food in your body you start having diseases right you start having this cholesterol in your body you start having all this diabetes things like that the same things if you have junks in your life in your body you cannot fully receive all the, the the glory of god or the holy spirit living inside of you your spirit will not uh, is blocked from receiving all the the blessings from the lord i'm sorry it's been cut because you know i just already cannot go further so anyway um talking about this junk food you can imagine all the junks in your body if you if you put out all the junks into your body this is not healthy the same thing is not healthy for your spiritual life our body is uh, divided into three things body soul and spirit so um normally people who are not spiritually united they're spiritually dead and they and they they don't understand uh, the whole meaning of life and they cannot see what god has prepared for them um i i I'm, today i just I cannot say further because I know how it feels when you're spiritually dead. You cannot see further. Somehow your veils from hearing and seeing the truth. So today, the Holy Spirit leads me for this. And I know that God has a better plan for you guys. And He loves you so much. God loves you so much that He gave His begotten Son to... For us, you know, he, he he paid our debts, our sin debts on the cross for us so that we can have eternal life with him. Do you believe? Do you believe that Jesus did this for us? All it takes is to believe. He has been waiting right in front of your heart, the door of your heart so that you will open that door and receive him you don't have to do anything all you do is just open your heart and trust me after that everything will be different you will see things differently you will you will I, you will totally devote your life to him and you just you know 
you, you have no more worry, you have no more fears. You submit your life to Jesus and he will take care of everything. I am his li living testimony to, to testify how God has been so, so good to me, to my children, to my family. Everyone that lives in my house are called my family. Even people around me are called family. They are all my brother and sister in Christ. And together we pray for one another, to encourage one another, to give them hope. Because right now, all, all of this in your life, around, your, around you. So I just wish that you guys won't be the foolish virgins. I hope that you will stay burning for the Lord and be the wise virgins. And trust me, you will see a whole different changes in your life. And I know I can't say much, but I can only pray for you guys. So Father God, I thank you for this opportunity to pray for anyone who feel called and feel the heavy burdens right right now and i pray to whomever that is thirsty for you and hungry for you you will come to them and visit them and encounter them just like you did to me so father god let i i'll let you work in their life and i'll let you change everything that is that so father god thank you let the sick be healed let the one that is crying right now be comforted i pray that you will touch their heart you will heal every problem that they're having in the name of jesus i apply the blood of jesus unto their life that you will give a divine protection divine healing and divine restoration in the in their life in the name of jesus so thank you father we give you praise we give you honor we give, we give all the glory to you in the name of yeshua hamashiach I bless you. I bless you, my brother and sister in Christ. Amen.